In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate crude admin read lists with PHP CG. Okay, so we can start by typing right in the bar generator slash generator dot PHP. Okay, so which brings us to this page. So we can see here that PHP CG has automatically detected the database relations, for instance, between the tables, articles, authors, and categories. Okay, so the selected table is articles, so we will create a paginated read list for the articles table. Okay, so here we can change the table and fields names displayed in the admin panel. Let's say author or for the content field article content. Okay, so we can also add some filters. So let's add some. Okay, so basically filters will allow you to filter the records displayed in the admin. Okay, so let's add a last one, for instance, published at. Okay, let's move on. So right here, we can choose some display options for each field. Enable sorting, you see right here, the relationship with the authors table allows you to choose the values to be displayed from it. First name and name, for instance. Okay, so for the title, field let's choose to activate the edit in place option okay we move on okay so for the published at field you can display and choose from available date and time formats as you can see okay let's enable sorting okay so here you have external relations available. So let's enable categories and choose the fields that we want to display. Let's say name, for instance. Okay, I think that all's ready now. Let's build the read list. There we go. So as you can see, list generated. Okay, so if we click here, we can see which files has been created or updated if the list already existed. Okay. So let's click on the link that we may see the result. And there we go. Perfect. We do have our list. Okay, so we can sort the results right here. Okay, we can as well edit the title in place just as expected, which is great. Okay, and right here, we also have our filters. Let's say, for instance, that we want to uh, filter by ID. ID 43, we click on filter and there we go, it works. Okay, perfect. So the external tables are shown in a nested table with records count. Okay, and you can as well, just as you can see here, export the displayed record in a CSV file.